My crew is big and it keeps getting bigger. That's cause Jesus Christ is my Hey there kids, it is your dad here again to talk to you. I just wanted to make a video. I just wanted to make a video here with you. With you. With you. It's a Monday, so I guess that means it's time to make one of those those panda videos you know i don't i don't really know what to call it i, I could call it this the panda videos or the so y'all did um give me a really good topic to talk about today but i kind of want to save all the um, ones that y'all give me and like make a list and i'll just do those whenever i don't have something to talk about so just know even though i'm not making it today does not mean that i will not be making it at all because like you know who you are. You'll get that video you wanted, okay? It'll be there for you. You just gotta wait. You just gotta, you just gotta be ready. Cause it's coming. Coming. <laughs> like I said, I'll just do those videos whenever... Or I'll just do those topics whenever I don't have something to talk about. But actually, today I do have something to talk about. It's not like super serious. It's just like I had this idea a long time ago. And I never really didn't make it. Because I wanted it to be part of the Panda the Philosopher thing. I just want to go ahead and get it across because it might already be obvious about some of the jokes that I make, but I am a. I'm a face fanboy, okay? See, those are the people like that I started watching when I really got super into YouTube. And, you know, I used to be a Call of Duty nerd, and I, you know, like every every kid around that period I just wanted to be a trick trick shot at a quick scoper on Xbox 360 and I wanted to uh, quick scope noobs and get him with a noob tube and yeah stuff like that I guess as phase has matured so have I and now I'm not into Call of Duty anymore and they don't seem to be either and now I'm not saying I'll never play that again I still think that eventually someday I might enjoy it Maybe even this one coming up this year. I might enjoy that one. But that's not what I'm talking about. I actually wanted to talk about... If you watch FaZe, you'll probably be aware of the people that are in the FaZe house. And that is... You got Rain, Adapt, Apex, and then Temper, and you got Cheo, and you got Blaziken. And that's kind of what I'm talking about. I've noticed for a lot of this community of the people in FaZe, there's a lot of hate going towards my man Blaziken. Well, I don't want to say Blazing King because that's not his name anymore, but Blaze. A lot of people are giving him hate because he's kind of matured a little bit. And, you know, I never actually used to like him that much the way he was. I mean, I, I liked him, but I just didn't watch his videos because he, he just had a kind of childish feel. And I feel like maybe he's matured a little bit and people are getting mad because he's starting to do stuff that he likes. He... Obviously, he's liking this music thing, and he's he's doing it now. And of course, you guys think it's cringy because it might not be your taste in music. Like a lot of people call it mumble rap or whatever, but it is music because I like it. A lot of other people like it. It's just a certain taste that you have to you have to you have to kind of get into. <sighs> For anybody that's not a watcher of FaZe, they might kind of think it's a little... This might not be very important to them, but... And, and I'm not, like, saying it's, like, the most important thing. But it is It's kind of disappointing to see. Just, it seems like I go on to YouTube comments, and I'm not talking about my own, because obviously all my comments are just my friends. It's not like it's a bunch of hate there. So obviously, yeah, I'm, I don't get that much hate, but, like... I hate going into comments and like I like to leave positive comments and or at least funny things I don't like to go in there and be a hater because I'm not a hater and I hate haters if anything I'm a hater of haters and it's just like I want these people to be reasonable like 
the the comment that I left the first time I heard Blaziken in a song, which was that Woki Masabi or whatever. Or it was actually in the other song. It was in the song that whatever bounce or whatever. I was just saying like, yeah, it kind of feels cringy at first to listen to because you know you've watched Blaziken before or Blaze or whatever. You've heard his voice and it's like different with all these other people. But like, if you listen to it with an open mind and you don't, if you don't really think about it as the old Blaziken making the video, or this is the way it worked for me, but if you don't think about it as the old Blaziken making a video and you think of Blaze making this kind of cool song, I mean, it's obviously like, the name of the song is Bounce. It's not meant to like, take in seriously into heart and deep thought. You know, there's, there's a different thing for every song, or there's a different thing for every type of music, and a lot of songs or a lot of types of music will try to encourage you to you know, if you think about rap, a lot of it's just like hot songs or but like for me when I think of logic specifically, it like it's got this feel that kind of makes you think. And it's like there's other artists like that that I listen to like J. Cole. It seems like it's a lot of rap for me. It gets you into this mindset. And the mindset that you get into when you're listening to uh, Blaze's videos is kind of it's kind of meant to just be this really vibey feel and you're just meant to kind of like vibe with it and be, be you're supposed to bounce you know that's the name of the song that's what you're supposed to but yeah so the specific type of comments and stuff that i'm talking about is the people that are going down every single video he's put out they're like hashtag not my blaze again or whatever or like talking about how much auto tune he uses which is okay i mean like if that's not your taste you're allowed to put creative criticism but like every video i mean it's it's a type of music. It actually is a thing to use a lot of auto tune. I mean, it doesn't bother me. I just if it's not your type of music, don't listen to it. And if I mean, it's, it wasn't my type of music, but like I opened my mind to it, and therefore I let it become my type of music. <coughs> but a lot of people don't get that, and that's fine. If you don't want to open your mind to it, and if it's just completely impossible for you to be okay with it, don't listen to it. But don't go in the comments every single video and be like, Not my Blaziken, what is this guy? We, or, we went to gaming for, to uh, vlogs to rap. What is going on here? This is not my phase. I miss phase. I miss the quick scope and trick charters. It just seem, it makes you seem dumb. You don't look intelligent when you do that. I like to see smart people in the world and I a lot of people believe there's more negative than positive and it kind of feels like that sometimes but I do believe that there are smart people out there and I do believe that there are positive people out there you know what I mean so don't like uh, so yeah the, I mean there are positive people out there and I just wish I could see more of it because we can tell whenever you go in there and write this stuff because it's the same thing other people that got top comment has done before that all you're looking for is top comment and I get it it feels great to have a really high comment I've had it before I mean uh, like this is I've I've been on YouTube for a long time so like it's it's normal for me to it's obvious that I've had top comment before and I know the feeling that you get so really the main point of this whole video you know it is a pan to the philosophy video and I was sharing my opinion but the idea like I just want I just want to be able to go down and see more people in the comments being positive but you don't have to be like a weird guy that's like you don't have to be like just being like super nice or and I mean you can be funny but like it's he, everybody has preached for a long time that the YouTube comment section is just retarded. Like, you go down there and all you see is negativity or people looking for top comment or dumb stuff like that. And really, I would just like to see people being interesting. Like, I would like to be able to go into the comments and see relevant stuff. Like, talking about the video and giving criticism or being positive like even if you want to be the guy like I'm the guy I'll go down there and I'll be like this was a great video I really like this part and I also really like this part but then you could do this better and it was just better and you know you don't have to but I know I would like to see that in my comments because it actually helps me but if you know a little bit about video making you can share things about small things that I could do better 
not to change myself, but to change my voice, how close I, you know, small that kind of that I'm not that I'm not doing perfectly. You know, originally uh, I was supposed to be talking about Faze Blaziken or whatever, but it seems that this is more about the comment section. I just want to see better comments, and it was about Blaziken's comments because I. I was down there the other day and just because that last song he came out with wasn't bad at all. Definitely my favorite one he said yet. And then I go look at the comments and there's just terribly rude people leaving the same thing they left in the other two videos. Like, please guys, be creative. Do something different, you know? Like, I've heard hashtag not my blaze again in every single video i don't need it anymore so yeah that's all i really want to talk about in this video and if if you didn't like my opinion then that's not what this is about i want to build my youtube community around people who are just open to things like my biggest pet peeve with the whole entire world is closed-minded people that don't be human like humans are supposed to gain knowledge and they don't let any knowledge in their head because they're stuck on their own beliefs and i just just want my community to be smart people i want to make the world smart again make america smart again make the world smart again. <laughs> but yeah like i said this this did seem very serious compared to my other videos and that's what i want the panda the philosopher videos that's what i want the panda series or whatever to be I just serious me talking not all of them but like most of them I want them to be me talking about things that are important in the world maybe helping people gain knowledge yeah so I hope you liked the video and if you did I want you to leave a like and if you didn't I want you to leave a like and if you, if you did I want you to leave a like I want you to leave a like and then, no, I guess that's gonna be all. Um, and then it's your been your dad here. And I'm, I'm just gonna leave you now. And I guess go on and do my normal dad things and run away from you. And yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, I guess I gotta head on out of here. See you later. See you later.